Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. We're gonna shoot the 32 again today with some Mr. Hollow Point slugs. H and R 32 gauge special, which I believe is actually a model 158. The slug looks like this. Two and a half inch shell, deep hollow point. The data, and yes, I'll show you the slugs at the end of the video, what they actually look like. New Shadot hull, 20 grains of blue dot, the SG32 wad with no shot cup, Mr. Hollow Point. 510 diameter, 275 grain slug. The actual weight on my scale was 284 grains for a weight of 0.65 ounces. And they are roll crimped with the GOP BN2. Pretty simple load. We're at 42 yards like usual. We're gonna see how these do. The last Mr. Hollow Point slugs that were 510 diameter shot really well i think those were 345 grains let's see how these do well alrighty guys let's see how these things do they're the where's it at here 275 grade mr hollow point slugs loaded with 20 grains of blue dot he doesn't explain the rest of it that's what they are let's see what happens here oh, i'm geez. expecting 1350 fps 1543 okay right below point of aim i had to take the scope off the gun because it was a little loose but i locked tied it everything down it's probably obviously not sighted in anymore but we can adjust that at a later date we'll get Looks like right beside it. Yep. 1564. If the wind's blowing, guys, sorry. I mox died. <laughs> Touching your second shot. Looks like it. Really close. That one read error. Error too. Whatever that means. Yeah, we need a hammer extension on that gun. Badly. I'm a flyer. A little bit wow. of a flyer. Huh. A little bit of a flyer. 1621, that was a little bit higher velocity too, so. Yeah. Shells look good? Brass looks fine. The primer's got, I don't know what it is. A little flat? Yeah. Okay. Slight pressure sign. Nothing horrible. All right. A little bit of wiggle on them. If you want a fifth shot, you can take it. Uh, is it here if you can get them in there? Yeah. yeah. It's not horrible. It's just starting to... Right. If you guys can see right there next to the firing pin hole, there is ever so slight just the start of flow back. Maybe 19 and a half or 19 grains would be the way to go. But as it is right now, the speed is excellent. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the powder burn seems to be fairly clean. Now we did shoot black powder through this beforehand. But for all in all, I mean, it's pretty clean. I expected it to be dirty because it is blue dot, very slow powder. That actually helps, thanks. And uh, I didn't expect that weak CX-1000 primer to work like it did. But it seems to work out just fine. Not the best. One, two, three. I still don't... I was holding the same spot. I was holding right here on the tip of that. Weird. I don't know how that one happened. Well, there's three. I mean, they're not very far apart. Flyers happen. Happens all the time, does, it seems. Yep. Guys, I'm excited to calculate the muzzle energy on these. Now, with the 345 grain slugs, we were pushing up a little bit past 4570 power or 454 casul. These might be a touch weaker, but still, energy should be up there for what it is. Sixteen seventy-five. Definitely need to back that powder charge down a grain or two. Sixteen 
Well, those hit like a foot apart. 1567, it seems like the higher velocity they go, the more up and left they go. Yeah, mine are not doing good at all. 1698, yeah. Crazy. That one's right beside my second shot. 1531. I'm going to take a fifth shot. Take a sixth and a seventh if you need it. I'm just going to try to get that actual group. See if I can get some sort of, uh, you know, decent group out of it. Oh, uh, no. That one's up there with my first shot. <laughs> what the crap's going on? I feel like sometimes it would be nice if they made a firearm that threw multiple projectiles at one time. Okay, that one read 1706 and that one was kind of hard to uh, open the gun up if you guys saw that. Yep, Jeff, we need to back down the powder charge. What's going on here is it's just too much set back it all at once. His were pretty good. Mine's all over the place. We'll show you. Powder burn still clean. Well, guys, the primers look good on these. One of them right here it is. This is the one that read 1706. You can see the brass is bubbled out a little bit. The crimp is missing a piece. And the primer is pretty much flat on that one. Probably need, I don't know, 17 or 18 grains of blue dot. Probably would have been the winning ticket. But uh, we're learning. 32 gauges. There's no, not much data for it out there. None with slug, so it's all pretty much trial and error. Calculated guessing. Yep. And here's my god-awful group. I want to guess that's a foot and a half. As you can see, it's it's pretty spread out. I was trying to, with my fist shot, land it like right here somewhere. Didn't happen. I did manage to find a couple of the wads, and they held up just fine. The SG32 wad with the shot cap cut off. Real off camera, guys, we had a, just one of them brass case 32s. It's loaded with black powder and a 50 cal Great Plains bullet. It's masking tape. If you don't recognize this, this is a 100 yard thing that we shoot at all the time. Well, I hit it right here. And it had enough energy that it destroyed that link. Yeah. May not seem like much, but this thing's been hit with 10 gauge, 12 gauge, everything else. And as you can see, that side's still holding up, still winking. <laughs> yeah, the 32, sharp. the 32 gauge had enough power to break the link. Of course, it probably was weak after all the big bores, but still, it hit it with some serious power. Yeah. So I guess that's going to conclude this video. However, we did walk over there and managed to dig one of those up out of the dirt. Found a fresh hole, and that is definitely one of those Mr. Hollow Point slugs we were just shooting. It mushroomed out very, very well. Slight correction, guys. Josh is going to take one shot with it just to see if he can hit it with these. I'm hopeful. I hit it with a black powder round out of this thing about 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Got one in her. Are you ready? Yeah, sorry for the shaky cam, but it's center screen. All right, you're you're a really good shot. Ooh. So this video didn't turn out that well. Josh shot a fairly good group, and he was able to hit the plate with one of these slugs and a black powder load with a Hornady Great Plains bullet. But anyway, these were <laughs> probably over pressure. Now the data I came up with was using 28 gauge data, a low pressure load. It called for 20 grains of blue dot with a three quarter ounce load at like 8,500 PSI and 1235 FPS, if I remember right. And uh, with these, I decided to keep the same 20 grain powder charge of blue dot and the slug weighed a little bit less. So I thought it would probably work out, but 
didn't really seem to be the case. If you don't know, 32 gauge is only 26 thousand smaller than 28 gauge. This is one of the worst groups I have ever shot with anything, and that's probably due to the this round being over pressure. Now, we will be doing this again. I'll drop the powder charge down to 17, 17 and a half grains, maybe 18, and see how those do. I feel like slowing them down would greatly tighten up groups. As you've seen, again, Josh shot a fairly good one. Mine was awful. So here's what the slug looks like from the side anyway. 510 diameter. You'll see the hollow point in just a second, but I believe these are cast out of pure lead. And again, these are available through Mr. Hollow Point. It's a really good design. All of his slugs are great designs. And here you can see a bit of the hollow point. Looks pretty good. And this is what the hollow point itself actually looks like. It expands almost the entire depth of the slug. I'm not going to calculate the muzzle energy on these because it was obviously an overpressure load. I consider it completely invalid. But thanks for watching, guys.